Welcome to All I Must TV. Like I did promise in my previous video, I said this Sunday morning, I'm going to release a powerful exponential equation and here it is on the board. The question reads, 2 to the power of x plus x equal to 5. What then will be the possible value of x? Now, if you look at this exponential challenge, it's a very nice exponential challenge. And if you are good at mathematics, you discover that we cannot really apply the simple or the normal um, algebraic laws or the normal laws of indices to solve this. Here we're going to use a special function called the uh, lambda w function. And I've solved some problems already, some challenges already uh, in my previous uh, videos where I applied this lambda w function. I'm going to leave uh, a link down below in the description where you can access some of those videos where I applied the lambda w function in solving this. Without much waste of time, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. That is the only way the algorithm will send a notification to you a new video has been released. Okay, now let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Let's take down our selection. So we take our selection. All right, we put down our question, which is 2 to the power of x plus your x equal to, sorry, equal to your 5 here. Okay, now this is what I want to do here now. I want to send this x to this side of the equation. So if we do that, this will now give us 2 to the power of x equal to your 5 minus x. Divide through by 2 to the power of x to make the side of the equation unity. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of x. Then all over, okay, let's take everything all about 2 to the power of x. Yeah, this, this leaves. So when I have 1 equal to your 5 minus x all over 2 to the power of x. Now, if you look at this, we can rearrange this, right? I want to move this to this side of the equation and bring this to this side of the equation. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be your 5 minus x all over 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 1. Okay, now let's continue on this side of the board. So. What we do here is this. I want to try to manipulate the exponent below here now, okay? So that I can have 5 minus x from the exponent here. Would that be possible? Yes, it's very possible. What I'm going to do here is to multiply both sides of the equation by uh, 1 all over 2 to the power of negative. Let's see what happens there. So this will now give us here 5 minus your x all over your 2 to the power of x times 1 all over your 2 to the power of negative 5 equal to 1 times 1 all over 2 to the power of negative 5. Again, the essence of this is that I want to achieve what I have here at the exponent here. Now we are having 2 and here we are having 2 as a base number. Remember the law of indices, which says that if you have your, let's say, a, okay, a to the power of x, that times a to the power of y, what happened? So since the bases are the same, we can add the exponent. So we now have a to the power of x, that plus your y. All right? Good. So if we succumb to this law here, we can rewrite this. So rewriting this, we're going to have this to be your 5 minus x all over your 2, okay, to the power of x minus 5 equal to, yeah, 2 to the power of minus 5. Yeah, we're having a reciprocal. So if we find the reciprocal of this, this will give us 2 to the power of 5. And 2 to the power of 5 means 2 times 2 into 5 places, and that will give us 32. So the whole of this will give us 32. Good. Now, you may ask, if what we have here is the same thing as this, they are more or less the same. The exponent here is the same thing as this. Because if I move this to the numerator, then we're going to have 5 minus x. Simple. Now that we have achieved this, what we do, let's go ahead and rewrite this. 
So we can now write this as 5 minus x times, let's put this in bracket, okay, into your 2 to the power of the exponent here now is going to carry a negative sign. Remember? Yeah. So this is going to give us here minus bracket your x minus 5 close bracket or in bracket equal to 32. Easy. All right. Now, if I use this to open this bracket here, what happened? Automatically, we're going to have here minus x plus 5. Rewriting this, this will now give me plus 5 minus x, which is what we have here now. Do you get the gist now? All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we're going to have here 5 minus x, okay, into, here we have 2 to the power of your 5 minus x, okay, let's put this in bracket, equal to 32. So what comes to mind, remember, if we have an expression of this kind, for instance, we have your e to the power of uh, uh, ln, then let's say uh, star, okay, star. What will this give us? This is going to give us star. Why? Because here we are having ln base e. So if we are having e to the power of ln base e, this, this will leave. So once they leave the system, we now still come out with star. In other words, we can rewrite this expression here. Introducing our E and ln base E. Get that? Okay, so let's rewrite that here now. So this will now give us our 5 minus x, all right, then dot E, all to the power of ln of what we have here now. So we have 2 to the power of 5 minus x, this is equal to your 32. Now, the question now is, why are we bringing your e to the power of ln base e? Although, the essence of this is because we want to make use of what we call the lambda w function. Okay, because it is only the use of the lambda w function that will enable us to solve for our exponential, sorry, of our variable here. Okay, because whenever you have a challenge of this kind, it is difficult to manipulate without the use of the lambda w function. Okay, so if we agree that what I have here now is same thing as this, what does the lambda w function say? It says that if you have um, a star, if you have a star, then times your e always to a star, then you now take the lambda w function of this, this is going to give us a star. This is what the law says. And this is what we call your product log. Okay? All right. So we can introduce something of such here, provided what we have at the base is the same thing we have at the exponent here. Okay? All right. So now let's look at this. Can we introduce our lambda w function to this? Oh. Uh, no. Let's move this exponent to this other side because of um, the law of logarithm. We say that if you have your log, your p to the power of k, move this exponent backward. So this will now give you k log your p. So we can equally apply that here, okay, before we come to our lambda w function. So if we do that, then this will now give us our 5 minus x, close bracket, then dot our e, sorry, let me write it where, dot our e into bracket your 5 minus x, close bracket, ln 2. Okay, this is equal to 32. All right, so let's take to this other side of the board. So we'll stick to this. Look at the ideology here. We said, Whatever we have here must correspond to what we have here now. Now we have 5 minus x here. We have 5 minus x here. We are still having ln 2, okay? ln 2 here. So how do we now bring ln 2 to this other side? All we need to do is to um, multiply both sides of the equation by ln 2, okay? So if we do that, we're going to have this to be our 
ln 2, okay, um, multiply by this, which is our 5 minus x, close bracket, dot, our e, or to the power, your 5 minus x, bracket, ln 2, okay? This equal to 32. So if you are still confused whether what we have here and what we have here are same, so we're writing this. This is simply 5 minus x close bracket ln 2, okay? Then dot our e into 5 minus x close bracket then into ln 2 equal to 32. Very easy. Oh, sorry. Now we said because we are multiplying this side by ln this two, so by ln two, we must equally multiply this side by ln two two. Okay, so here we have here ln two. Here we have ln two. Okay, so at this point, we cannot take the Lambert W function. Remember the function I said if you have uh, a star there times e all raised to a star, and we take the Lambert W function, this will give us what a star. So, so long what we have up here is same thing what we have at the base. What we have here, same thing what we have here now. So we can apply the uh, Lambert W function here now. Okay, so let's do that and see what this gives us in turn. So this will now give us the Lambert W function, bracket, let's take our square bracket, bracket 5, minus x, close bracket, ln 2, okay, dot your e, all right, to the power of your 5, minus x, close bracket, ln 2. 2, okay, to our square bracket, this is equal to the Lambert W function of um, 32, okay, ln 2, close bracket. So the whole of this will give us just this, uh, this. So this now implies our 5 minus x bracket bracket ln of 2, this is equal to, there we have our Lambert W function of 32 ln 2. Easy. Okay. Now, what we're looking for here is 5. Yeah, sorry, it's x here. But something is still attached to it. All we just need to do is to divide through by ln 2. So if we divide through by ln 2, divide this by ln 2, then this, this, we leave. Mind you, this cannot cancel out this. Why? Because this one is still carrying your Lambert W function. Okay, so since this is affected this, you cannot use this to cancel out this. So here we are now left with our 5 minus x equal to our lambda w function of 32 ln 2, close bracket, all over ln 2. It is easy now. All we just need to do is to move this s to this side of the equation, move everything here to this other side. Or we can rearrange by saying, Therefore, our x is equal to, if we move x this way, move this this way, we're going to have here 5 minus the lambda w function of 32 ln of 2, close bracket, all over your ln of 2. So if we are to rearrange this completely or um, in other words, if we are to rearrange this, then this will now give us our x is equal to your 5 ln of 2 minus the lambda w function of 32, the ln of 2, close bracket, all over ln of 2. Okay? This ln of 2, please. All right, so this is our final answer to this. Now, if you look at this expression we have here, some persons might be confused to ask of what the numerical value is. Now, how to get the numerical value here is very easy. All you need to do is to plug this value into your Wolfram Alpha calculator. And if you do that, it's going to give you the numerical value. I've done that already, and I have my numerical value. So I want you to do the same and tell me your answer to this. Drop it in the comment section, okay? I will reply to it in no distant time. We are good at reply to comments. Although we will not be able to reply to some bunk of the um, comments so far, but we are on it now, all right? So be sure, be rest assured that I will reply to 
whatever answer you are going to drop in. But I want you to drop your answer here, okay, using your Wolfram Alpha calculator. All right, again, this is online mass TV, and my name is Jix Anemo. Remember, here we release powerful videos all the time for your learning, for your form. And you know what? I love you. And every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you because you are always there. Bye for now.